It's a delay. It's a delay, lads. Oh, my God. What a hit, though. Jesus Christ. Good block. Late. There goes Suggs. There goes Suggs. Oh, my Lord. The man's on fire. The first, very first carry of his regular season career, and he absolutely dominated. What is going on, guys? We are back with Primetime 2.0, and it is the first week of the 2019 season. Going against the Bears, no game is a guarantee. The Bears coming off of uh, another, you know, somewhat bad season. However, you can never put that into perspective because any team can come out swinging. And that's what we're planning on doing. We have some XP to use. I'll probably use that in a little bit. McKinnon, I think, as normal, maybe quick dev. Probably just going to go for the uh, stats on him because he's already a great overall. Uh, Kevin King finally kind of gets the nod here. Uh, it was uh, Grimes and Burns. Now it's McKinnon and King. So the combo is actually looking pretty sick. Uh, and then defensive line, still the same. Definitely need to get some more depth here because, you know, Daniels is out, Radway is in. You know, we might have to make a trade or two. Uh, but other than that, I like where we're at. Let's take a look at free agency, see if there's any, like, players that slipped. Oh, so speaking of uh, a little bit of depth, maybe somebody here. E, his stats aren't great, though. Watts, Degiri. I thought maybe he'd be someone. Aguara. Old Giant, I believe. Not really what I'm... Adrian Lindstrom. Coverage linebacker. A lot of these guys I don't really need. And I don't really want either. Hassan Ridgeway. He's actually decent as a tight end. Or tight end. DT, I'm pretty sure. Perry Siegler. Don't really need a wide receiver, but I'll sign him for the time being. I'll play the free agency card. List and B. I do not want him. I do not want you, bro. We have a new backup DT. It's nice. So the running back battle, the overall difference, astounding. Ooh, our Excel's only 83, which sucks. Ooh. That kind of puts me off a little bit. Is it really only 83? I'm sure I would have noticed that, really. And luckily, he's got good speed. Jordan Howard, I mean, he's primed for a good, uh, good game. The Bears' defense is actually a little underrated. They have a good D-line, decent linebacker. So Suggs probably won't get off to a great start. But hopefully we can uh, you know, prove the people wrong. Going against the Bears at the Bears. So we will say that it's not going to be super easy. Jordan Howard is going to be a tough guy to contain. Tariq Cohen also. You know, the two, the duo, you know, when one's out, you think you, you have a break, but you really don't. So let's get this one started. Starting off the season with a bang. McManus with a nice kick downfield. If he takes his back, he's in trouble. A hey, smart man. Vic Beasley, fifth career sack. Uh, I don't think that's correct. Vic Beasley would probably not be a 92 overall. There's Vic Beasley speaking of. Until you switch sides. Oh, that's good D. Vic Beasley got a little bit of help from McKinney there. That's going to be a fourth down. So they want us to start off with a super bang from Suggs. They want us to get him a touchdown rushing the very first drive. I'm not going to throw him in the fire like this yet. Rodgers, the veteran, should be able to make some plays happen early. Oh, there you go. Ooh, if Cooper would have made that block, first very throw from Rodgers would have been a touchdown. Effort by Porcher. Porcher definitely seems very elusive, so going to keep an eye on that. Also going to keep an eye on Suggs. He's not guaranteed the starter forever. I should have threw that to B, and we fumble there. Jesus, please tell me that's not actually a fumble. It seemed a little late. Damn, it actually is a fumble. Offensive line not off to the greatest of starts. It's a delay. It's a delay, lads. Oh, my God. What a hit, though. Jesus Christ. That is a ridiculous hit. So we turned over the ball very early, but it was a quarterback fumble. Luckily, not like a really that much of a decision. Turnover. Good block late. There goes Suggs. There goes Suggs. Oh, my Lord. The man's on fire. The first, very first carry of his regular season career, and he absolutely dominated. That is ridiculous. This man is something special. I'm going to take it. 
I'm going to take it. What a throw and a great route. I mean, not really a route, but just outran a Akamura. A Mukamura. Jesus Christ. Thinking of Akwara. We have a great offensive line. They just don't play great. Oh, Jesus. McKinnon getting burned a little bit here early. Oh, I missed. Damn, I thought we were going to contain Howard well this game. Clearly not. Four for 40. Got to get some push from this D-line. There it is. Got him with McMullen. The user inside. McMullen's a great player. It's just his awareness and his play rec is kind of bad, which leaves him at a 70-something uh, overall. McMullen inside. I should really play. I'll go Lolita, though. Oh, look at the play by Vic Beasley. His fifth career sack. <laughs> Oh, God. It's just like, how many times can he actually pull off runs like that? That's all me. I will say, though, Rodgers fumbling again isn't all me. That was definitely a bad decision by me, but Rodgers literally, every time he's getting touched, is fumbling the damn ball. Oh, nice little run. Get him. Oh, that's a rough hit to take as a quarterback, right to the kneecap. Maybe not. Maybe not. They can handle everything on the offensive line. The Bears are a decent team, apparently. We did kick first, so, you know, we're in an okay spot. Defense, uh... There you go, Kenny Clark. Defense made a couple of plays, got us the ball back, but... Offense really not getting it done. Really, the Bears are looking like a much better team out here, if we're going to be honest. Especially look at McKinney. McKinney one-on-one -on -one with uh, Conley. That's a rough one. There you go, McKinnon. Jesus Christ. It was close. It was close. I honestly think, I know it makes no sense, but uh, I almost feel like because of how like hard it is to hit the, the goalpost, that the goalpost should count as inbound. So if it bounces there, they have to field it, you know? Add a new dynamic to the game. I did not need to try to run him over there. I'll tell you this, though. Suggs' limited carries this game has uh, have all been very good. Very good. Let's see if Cooper can get open one-on-one. These one-on-ones early were all right for us. Who is this? Martellus Bennett. Still got it. He's playing. Uh, actually, I don't know what he's playing. We have an injury. It better not be Rodgers. Armour. Good catch. Great catch, actually. They're bringing everyone out, but Suggs is a monster, so we're just going to run it anyways. There you go. Nice gain of, like, four. Good player to block. There you go, Armour. Way too fast. He's gone. You cannot man Trevathan up on Armour. So we have a bad drive on offense, then we have a great drive on offense. So sadly, we're coming up on our bad drive. Should have went for two there. Try to cut that lead. Oh, huge hit. Go, Tabor. Oh, good play, though. This is a weird, like, setup that they have going on here. That's a great throw by Rodgers. What a dot right to Devontae. Actually had a pretty good season. Ten career touchdowns is not bad for a guy that was injured, like, half the season. Rodgers misses that throw. Are you serious, EA? First throw of the game missed. And it's a wide open touchdown to Armour. And it should not be missed by any quarterback in the NFL, let alone Rodgers. Probably going to end up throwing a pick. Well, that's all Armour. He dropped it again. Not again, but you know what I mean. And apparently it was blocked. This is why I should never sim it. Because it was blocked. <laughs> Who's Nicholson? Is Josh Jones hurt? Better not be. Kenny, huge hit. Yeah, good play defense. It was that defensive line was starting to get a little bit of a push? Got him, got him nervous. Gives Suggs a chance on the screen pass. He's off to a great start. Might as well uh, see if he can get something done in the receiving game as well, which it appears he can. Oh no, waiting for Suggs. He doesn't wait for no line. Look at Suggs. Oh, my God. This Porcher. Uh, Spellman, great catch. Don't know what it is. I don't know if it's Spellman's just really short or Roger just keeps missing to him, but it seems like Spellman has to dive for a lot of his catches. Either way, Aaron Jones, Suggs, I don't really mind. Damn, they got a front there, though. Even a, just a little push. Ooh, I don't know if I got it. It looks good, but they could get out there very quickly. McKinnon. There you go. That play is so good at the goal line. Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones, my dude. Not the greatest in receiving, but enough. Wide open. Good play. 
I'm going to take this shot. Who is this? Cooper with a great catch. Good play. Went with a rack catch, too, and Cooper still caught it. I had Y inside, but they were running similar routes, and they just they kind of intersected a little bit, which I didn't like. So I just went with whoever I thought was going to be able to not get jumped. Had A open, but Suggs is also open. Run him over. Ah, oh, if I was angled properly. Damn, Suggs is so good. I try to give whoever needs a goal their goal on the drive. Get out of my way. There you go. First career rushing touchdown for Mr. Suggs. One of hopefully many. I mean, I could do nothing better there. Vic Beasley, a little bit of coverage. Tariq Cohen is in. I would assume we could take care of Tariq better than we can of Howard. There you go, Clowney. Oh, Nicholson with the fumble. That's an easy recovery from McKinney. He's gone. McKinney isn't that fast, though, to be fair. Oh, my God. Who is this? McKinney. Touchdown on the recovery. And brought down by Mike Daniels this time. I think everyone on the D-line may have a sack. I'm running them down. Damn good play. Kenny Clark. Big man on campus. Chase that man down. Porter has a chance. Looks like the blocks may be set up this time. Oh, yeah, they are. Porter's got some speed. Ooh. Beat the fast guy in the play, so. Gonna run this play. Cooper. What a throw. Oh, what a try on, on the back foot. That's tough on the run. Rodgers missed that throw. He's under pressure, but that... That was one he should have made. This uh, completion percentage is draining. Damn, they read that one. Damn, Ty. Oh, we have an injury. It's Ty Montgomery. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, luckily it's not like Rodgers. Oh, my God. We need some pressure. We need some generic pressure. There you go, McMullen. Clowny. Clowny busted off of his player the same time I did. Does suck though, because they're pretty much out of it. It's gonna give us a short field, which I don't really care for. Want to run the ball with Suggs a little bit? That's picked off by Artie. Might be the first pick of the game for uh, any team. Artie Burns is injured now. Jesus, I think the injury sliders are perfectly fine. I just think catching a couple unlucky breaks here, really blocking over there though. Suggs can only do so much. He's one man. Oh, my God. Every play, it's at least one man. He at least takes one soul with him. Or not. And Rodgers will fumble for a third time. Oh, look at Sharp. He's like, I can play running back, coach. Should not have been an injury in the first place. Rodgers making people miss. Of course, why wouldn't it be picked? I really didn't want to pick on my career already, and I don't know why I said career, but season. I mean, he's wide open there. I know it's not an easy throw, but nobody misses a throw across their body by overthrowing it by that much. Like, there's no way. It's so brutal. We've had such a good game with Rodgers, and that was a great play by us. It was Real Rodgers-esque, and he just misses the throw. I could have ran, but that's a wide open play. That might be a touchdown if he makes that throw. Wide open on the side. I wanted to go as far as I could on the season without throwing a pick, and I made some good decisions this game. Ooh, Clowney. McKinney just shoved that one right to Clowney. It's two sacks on Clowney's season. I don't know what Josh Jones' man coverage is, but he might have to... Oh, oh what a hit. He might have to play uh, maybe a little cornerback for us. We'll see. Long McMullen. Damn it. Can't bust through the double team. Suggs is about 30 yards off maybe from 200 yard or 100 yards. Got to get him that. I mean, he has, to be fair, he already has 200 total scrimmage yards, I would say, because of that screen. But I want 100 yards per game. 1,600 yard season. Oh, my God. Rodgers got blasted. Mike Daniels insta pressure. Pretty much. Pretty much. Double team. Clowney, get there. 
Down to the one. Ooh, they're calling a timeout. Nope. And that's the game, 34-12. to 12. Man, Mitchell Trubisky played all right, but our defense played very well. And offensively, we were good for three quarters. Luckily, they were bad for three quarters. Uh, and, yeah, I mean, that's going to be the first game, 1-0. and We did lose a couple of guys in injury, though. Artie Burns is probably going to be a long-term deal here. Ty Montgomery, I'd say, is probably back within a few. Not that it matters too much. We have a lot of depth at running back. But let's take a look at the stats. I should not have skipped that. Crap. Uh, Rodgers was really good. That pick is so... You guys probably heard it from me, but I was very disappointed with that pick. I was mad. Suggs was pretty good. Didn't run the ball with anyone other than Suggs. Uh, receiving. Suggs had six. Uh, Suggs did have a really good game. I didn't think he had 63 yards. Uh, everyone kind of had a little bit of a uh, little bit of piece of it. Defensively, sacks was bad for both teams. Mike Daniels, two sacks. Clowney, two sacks. Goldman, two sacks. McMullen, two sacks. Floyd had a sack. Donald had a sack. Javane had a sack. Kenny Clark. McPhee. Beasley. Oh, my Lord. How many sacks were in that game? That's ridiculous. Let's take a look at these injuries, though. We'll also go to week two, see who gets the player of the week. We'll also kind of see where we're at in comparison to the rest of the league for uh, statistics. Because I don't think I can do anything about it, but let's see what's the new injury. Please not be too long. Brady's three weeks. Artie Burns is four. So Ty didn't even get a... Uh, an outside of the game injury practice squad player. Week two, who do we go against? I think it's another division rival. It is not as the Chargers. Not an easy team to beat either. They're uh, they're usually very good in sim. Oh, that really blows that that's the way this is. Like to be anything on the top leaderboards, we're gonna have to like, I mean We're gonna have to bump the quarters for sure, because I don't know if you guys seen that, but we're 29th. We probably had about 350 yards of offense. That should not be 29th in the league. Russell Wilson, six touchdowns, zero picks. Phillip Rivers on fire. Jesus. I mean, Rodgers isn't super far behind, but he is kind of far behind. He's already, what, 170 behind Alex Smith? Or maybe 150. Maybe my math is off. 150 behind Alex Smith? That's crazy. And then rushing, I mean, this kind of average, but... If they average 100 to 140, then we have problems. Receiving. Yeah, the Chargers are off to a decent start. Defensively, the sacks we might be up there with. Apparently not. <laughs> Jesus. Clowney with two. Mike Daniels with two. Long McMullen with two. A lot of players have two in this league, but we have a lot of sacks regardless. But yeah, I mean, it was a good, seat, a good game for us, Chargers going to be a tough one to beat. It's not going to be a walk in the park like we might think it is. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!